start recording we are recording now and toggle all right so guys now first thing that i'm gonna do here i just want to delete all of this not all but just like camera and the light first and here we're gonna add some a cube but maybe just let it the cube as before but we can take it down here into the right line here if you see like that and now we can make it like more longer more wider like that and if you already do this let's go move again into the uh this side but i think this one it's kind of so uh so high so i just want to make it a little bit thickness and looks like that and now all right and now uh click tab and then just choose uh one side and we will add some putting of loop cuts and after that if you don't know how to do that just control r and you will have it looks like this this line and after that just left click and you have this line like that easy just do it like that so now go go here uh, because i want to make it some uh, stairs so i just want to make stairs by myself not using some bevel or something like that here so i just want to do it like this and and then after that here i want to add some cube and i will put this cube here in this in this side so i just want to grab it up a little bit like this and now we can try to make it more wider uh, more wide something like that and now we can grab it this one here into the left side here and for this one just grab it up there and after that just make it a little bit thickness but not so thick something like this and after that just move it and make it more close if you can or just put it here into this cube and if you want to know or want to make sure that the design looks good we can try to make it like a more a little bit far for the object from the object so we can do it something like this all right that's cool so now don't forget to uh move it here so i'm gonna add some a plan here zip a oh sorry i will add some plan and then just do it some uh make it more bigger which is like that so after this i want to move it into the uh right side but i want to make sure here to add some cube first just grab it this cube into the up here and after that just click tab go into the uh add selection mode just choose uh, the both side left and right and then just make it like one go here into the width just like one and after that here just make sure like um look smooth and maybe just around 70 but here i think i will just make it like 50 50 was okay and um after that just set it auto smooth um control g uh sorry g and ny and grab it back here all right so just after that just grab it up make it more a little bit higher um i bet something like this was okay so we can see how it looks like in the end so we can try to grab it down grab it down first all right now after that i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna add some a generate and then i will go to boolean i will add some boolean here for this object here and now just choosing that and boom so now we have the object that we wanted but i i will not oh sorry but i will not uh make it this object gone i will just hiding first so we can see how it looks like here and now we're gonna add some a ceiling this one by clicking zip d we can grab it up here and also we can make it more bigger or more higher for this object here and i'm gonna add some solid divide into this uh plan just one that's enough and after that i want to duplicate this one by clicking zip d r z and 90 and if you already do that um let's go move here move here into this side all right that's cool and now i want to choose all of this side here and grab it into the left side 
like that and we can put into this side here like that just make it straight like this and if you already do that uh, and if you already do that let's go duplicate uh, make it longer again something like that this is kind of cool not so bad uh-huh and we can try to take it back here all right something like that and we can take it back a little bit here and um, I think just need a little bit more space in this side like that all right now we can add some camera zip a camera we can put it there and we can see from here but we're gonna oops we're gonna need some vertical split another vertical split and now I want to grab it here I want to grip it here and I want to put it there and for the for the camera resolution I want to using like 2000 2000 to 2045 something like this and now we can try to uh, rotate a little bit like that and now we can duplicate this by clicking shift D and then RZ180 for rotation so we can put this uh, stairs here and now we can duplicate again one time oops sorry this is RZ180 and 80 like that so we can we can put it there put it here like this so we can see from this camera here but we have to see how it looks like maybe we can try to make it like more longer so we can see like that all right so guys now let's go move here and then i will just apply this apply and now let's go move here rz sorry rz 180 uh sorry all right so if you already apply and now let's go move here i will add this boolean here so we can see we, ha we still have some boolean so we can rotate this by clicking rz 90 and after that we can grab it back here so after this we will go into the modifier we will add some array and we can make sure for the size and so on also we can go here and apply by clicking apply and after this we can hide this one so we can see how it looks like now this is looks cool but this is doesn't uh but this is not done yet and after that, zip A, we're gonna add some uh, cube. We're gonna put this cube back here. Make it a little bit just thickness here. Take it down a little bit. Make it more longer by clicking S, X. And then after that, we have it uh, more more something cool because we have to make it this, uh, this plan more bigger so we can see how it looks like. And, and now we can duplicate this one by clicking zip D just take it down a little bit for the ceiling and after the ceiling go down we can make it the ceiling more short than the first one sx just make it short like this for the interior so we can grab it up like this all right grab it up like this and now we can move it this one into this side here inside so we can see how it looks like if it's good or not and after this uh because i want to make sure that we have more uh more interesting uh, design so i want to add more here i want to add more here and just take it down a little bit to make sure we have some shadow here and then after that we can we can take it back here this cube and i just want to um delete this array i will just using this one rz and the 90 just move it up back here move it back here and then we can just take it down this is, can be like for uh some design or something like that that we want to see so let's get see uh make it interesting for this object and we can grab it up a little bit like this and we can put it here and um will be like that 
so after this um, we can move into the other side which is this one here but I want to duplicate just this one this there by clicking shift D move it into the up there and then S Y just make it short like that so we can see this is some um, star that we have it here so we can keep it here but we can duplicate again shift D and then move it into the left side by clicking G and then X move it here so we can put it there and after that just grab it up so we can see in this side we have some a uh, stairs so it will be looks like this this is uh looks cool but this is not looks cool <laughs> so we can try to make it just a little bit uh, more more hide like this this is cool now all right so if you already do this let's go move into the other side which is this one in the background here because the background uh, we can see still I want to hiding this let's go move again here and also this one let's go move again like that that's cool and now will be looks like this all right so guys now let's go duplicate this one zip D and then I want to make some a something interesting here I just want to take it down Save the again, just grab it up. We can see. And um, yep, move it again. And that's cool. So we have more interesting object here that we have it here. So after this, I want to add some water here. Some water. So we can sip A uh, and then just using some plan. Growing up. All right. Now we can. Uh, we can resize it make it more bigger than before so after that just make it more longer more bigger we can put there and after that we can do some subdivide and just a little bit till 10 was okay and after that we can add some proctal but not too much um just something like that all right now we can grab it up a little bit that's cool set auto smooth and if you are ready to do this let's go move into the light here first thing first that i want to do here just go into the color we will using sky texture now go into the viewport settings so we can see how the lights uh, how is the light going all right because here i'm using ep and sky texture not available in ev so we have to changing into cycles go into render uh, render engine ev cycles and here you have to using gpu or if you don't have that's okay and here i will just using like 10. if you see here for the light and this is kind of cool but i don't want to put light here so we can we can grab it this uh this object uh this this cube into the left side a little bit like this here like that or something like this but i think if it's more better we can using this one so we can duplicate this we can move it there rz minus 90 so we can put it oops we can put it there we can put it here all right so it will be looks like that but by the way this is kind of looks very 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 bright so i just want to take it down so click here and just make it like 0.1 this will be like that it's kind of enough and now just make it bring down the dust so the color will be changing bring down the air also bring up the ozone so the color will be looks like blue or yellow a little bit yellow like this and after that we can duplicate uh, sorry not duplicate but rotation for the sun rotation so we can put the sun rotation here so if you see looks the shadow this is kind of cool so i really like it and now we can continue into the background here all right so now for the light what's done and now we can move into the background here because this is looks like so not so good we can add some a plan by clicking zip a rx 90 make it more 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 bigger after that g and then y just make it take it back there all right make it more bigger something like this 
take it back a little bit. All right, so we have a looks like this. This is the the design that we will have it. And after that, we can. Uh, but first, by the way, we can click this plan and then go into the Blender kit right here. Water for fast tutorial. We can using this. All right, now we can using the other one or the blue one, but this is too blue, so we can using this one a little bit less. Uh, but both of them are really cool, are really amazing. I love that. So now um, we can go into this background. So let's go take it back into this viewport setting. And after that, let's go move into the setting up there. And I'll kick this. So I'm going to kick this. I'm not using that one. So here, click new. We can take it back here. We'll not using that. We will using emission. Emission. After that, just connect this emission into the surface. Control T. All right. So now let's go move into the uh, file manager because I already downloaded some picture from a on place, and I will put link down below also so you can find easily same as what I have here, guys. So this is the uh, the object that I have it from from a on place. So we can have it like this and we can just take it down. We can bring this light here also like that and um, boom like this because this is like orange or oh, we can strange it up into 5000. So the color not looks like that more anymore by the way. And after this uh, we can go into the light also we can like playing with the light and so on. We can duplicate this one but let's go move into the layout first i'm gonna take it up a little bit and then now take it down so we have some moon side here all right so guys now if you already do that let's go move into the color for this uh wall here and um it can be fast and easy by the way because i just want to make sure that some smooth color and easy color that we want to use it here all right, so now let's go move into this uh, side here, editor type, and then after that, just go into set editor. After that, let's go move into this side, and then new, and here will be just simple one using this color here. Um, we can see how it looks like, if it's too much or not, but I think this is kind of okay and not too much. All right, I think we can just take it down a little bit like that was okay. And now we can using the same color as all of them. Alright, so guys, now tutorial for today is done. It's really easy to make it something like this. And if you want to have file exactly like this, you can join it with my Patreon link down below. And also you can have it from my Gumroad link down below also. And guys, don't forget to follow my Instagram, Ericomex, link down below. And by the way, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Georgia is here. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.